Yo, so we back in here for another edition F your mother This episode, this is the F work saga For YouTube purposes, I'm not gonna say I ain't gonna use no profanity This is the F work saga Meaning, forget your job The first story we got I'ma just show a video Then I'ma come back with you. Okay. 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 So in this video, my man, the UPS driver or FedEx driver is walking. Through, I'm, I'm assuming it's a condo lobby to which he he walks past this man's big ass six foot uh, Great Dane or whatever the big ass tall dog it was. It looks like a Great Dane and being the scary ass nigga he was right. You know, us black people, most niggas are scared of dogs. <laughs> we ain't fucking around. Uh, the dog flinched at him. This nigga had a goddamn seizure, fell out, fell over. Nobody in this bitch tried to help him up. Now, I say that's some racist shit because even after the he, uh, the FedEx guy got his big wobbly ass up off the ground, the white woman walks over to the dog to check on the dog and pet the dog. So they could have seen what was wrong with this nigga and helped him up. They didn't. No one even helped this nigga off the ground. Um so I'm assuming it'd be some racist white fucks, but to the brother that like bitched up, nigga, you got nigga, hold your ground. You like I'm I'm afraid of some big dogs, right? When I say afraid, not necessarily scared, but I'm apprehensive. I'm cautious. Whatever other adjective describes being on high alert when you're around big ass canines, right? You gotta but you gotta like you can't bitch up. Like so clearly this nigga was on a leash. His big roly poly ass. He didn't. He either didn't see that, or this nigga, the bitch, came out of him because he fell, like, fell the fuck out trying to, hot, like, hot footed away from the dog. You, you gotta, you know, what I'm saying, you gotta hold your ground. You gotta stand your ground. You gotta stand firm, sir. You, you can't bitch up. Cause what if you was with a child or you had a kid and you with your kid, you looking like a whole bitch out here. And in real life, nobody helps you up. Then we got what looks like. A nigga shooting at the police. Now the dash cam footage got this shit on camera. It's just hilarious because um, people always say that there's there's good cops and all cops ain't bad. My motto is there's no cop like a dead cop. Uh, it says a South Carolina man get gets in the shootout with two deputies from point blank range. Now because I ain't seen the full video and I don't know the context of this arrest or whatever. They look like they was trying to detain him. He wasn't going to jail. Fuck that. Everybody got to go. This reminds me of my commentary I did about the 13 year old kid. 13 year old kid was getting chased by the police. He shot back. I don't know if he killed nobody but that needs to be the sentiment. Not just for black folks but people in America. Like who the fuck this police? Now I know some ho ass people out there that's going to say yo we need cops and you can't just go around shooting the police. fuck the police at this point the rich is still in the money the politicians is passing bullshit laws the crazy people are overrunning society the criminals well they always gonna be there i got no problem with them i say the fuck out their way but um the police is getting away with murder vigilantes is choking and shooting people so i'm like at this point fuck everybody even the police i've always been like fuck the police i've never been the type of nigga to call no cops if a motherfucker like do something to me i'm gonna suit up boot up and handle my business you just better hope i don't see you before you see me um i'm not the type of nigga to call the police if somebody tries to violate me you gotta fucking die or get critically wounded that's the only options i got as a man now if somebody breaks into my house my car 
Hey, I got. I need an insurance claim. I need a police statement. I'm gonna call the cops, right? It's just logistics and paperwork. But for other shit, rapes, murders, assaults, shit like that, now nah, you gotta die or you gotta go down hard. I, I'm not calling the cops. That's bitch type shit. The only people they need to be contacting the authorities for shit like that is women, elderly people, and children. If you a man, get a Glock, a knife, a baseball bat. I don't know what to tell you. A chainsaw and go handle business. And then we got this police right here. I'm, I'm thinking he's a police. This happened in Encino, California. He was outside of the squad car. Got swarmed by a whole bunch of bees. The bees was attacking him. It was attacking the firefighters. Motherfuckers around. And his motherfucking partner drove off. His partner was a whole bitch. I, I, we would have had to duke it out. I'm sorry. I'm not like you gonna leave me. And then the, the, the partner double backed the car. And then drove off on his ass, right? Leaving him to fall over. Now, he might be an asshole supervisor. So, the, the, the other cop was like, fuck this nigga. Don't let him get stung up a little bit, right? In any event, like, that, if that was me, nigga, you got to get fired. Wrote up or something. Like, that shows clearly that you a bitch and you abandoned me when, like, I'm your partner. You're supposed to hold me down. But like I said, he probably was a whole ass supervisor. So, fuck that nigga. In any event... This, I, I guess this might be the fuck work saga. Yeah, let's go in the fuck work saga playlist. The people with shitty jobs. Getting stung by a, guy, a, a swarm of bees. Falling the fuck out. Almost getting attacked by a dog. And letting a bitch come out of you. And the police that got shot at. Those, these gotta be rough jobs, right? I know after all those situations, all three of them motherfuckers was like, fuck this job. I know I would have been. In any event, if you like this episode, subscribe, turn on notifications, tell your friends, share on all social media platforms. And as always, I'm out. No one-